Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sand. Wait, episode... Wait, what is this? Is a special episode? Oh, it's April 1st. Uh-oh. Which the series where I let fate oh, decide no. my lunch. Let's go. The dice I'm using today are a mystery set of dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thank you. Looks like we've got a blue marbled set. Awesome. All right, let's roll for bread. Six, sourdough. Okay. Chat, I see hot dog buns in here. <clears throat> Am I going to admit this to you? I'm going to admit this to you. Chat, when I was in college, I've done it since then. Not very often. Like, very, very rarely. Only, like, when I haven't gone grocery shopping for a while. But I ain't going to lie to you. You ever seen the iCarly episode of the, the spaghetti tacos? You know what I'm talking about? You ever seen it? Or you seen the clip of it? Or the clip of it? The spaghetti tacos? What if I told you you did spaghetti tacos, but change it for hot dog buns? Low key, <clears throat> hot dog buns are like a dollar for a pack, or at least for a long time they were. Like a dollar for a pack, and then pasta was like, you know, depending on like store brought, a dollar for a box, and then some butter, salt, you know? You could have basically two days of like pretty fire dinner for like eight bucks. It was so f good. That was like my, yeah, I've been having a tough week, week meal. And it was actually fire. It was so f good at the time. I don't know. I've done it once or twice since I forgot. I didn't have much. And I was like, ah, f it didn't. I'll just throw this shit together. Sourdough. Something I want. I, it was nice actually pretty good at the time. Toast it up. I don't regret it. A little bit of a weird color distribution. It's like the butter on, in the pasta. Plus the bun, it like absorbed it pretty well. It was pretty good. But it's crispy all lie. over. All right, next up, let's roll for main. 12, butter the bread and re-roll. Well, I know those of you on the other side well, of the... You could, you could take it to the next level. And if you're really, really, like, really creative, you pop one of the buns into the microwave for like eight seconds, just enough to like slightly warm it and to slightly make it softer. And that way it's a little bit more f bendy and flexible. And you could stuff a little bit extra pasta in it. Atlantic will be happy about this one. I can't tell you how many comments on each video I get surprised that I don't butter my bread for sandwiches. It's not something I grew up doing here in the US, but it seems to be common abroad. Personally, I like butter, but I don't think it's necessary for a sandwich every time. Who was I talking to recently about buttering bread? Was it Somnus? I don't remember. She said like she didn't like buttered bread or something. I don't remember what it was. All right, Forget roll it. again for Maine. 12, butter the bread and re-roll. All right, what? I guess the fates decided uh, I didn't do enough butter hello? the first time. This has actually happened once before on the show. <laughs> Unlikely pair of rolls, but oh, no. not heard of. So, all right, let's load it up with extra butter. Oh, no. All right, let's see what kind of protein we're going to add to this thing. That's a lot of butter. 12, butter the <laughs> bread and re-roll. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the dice guys demand even more butter. No. This is really, really <laughs> It's a landmark episode today. Poor it's guy. Happen again. All right, let's roll again for Maine. Tw what again? Nah, no, <laughs> he's trolling. He's f***ing trolling. It's an April first upload. He's f***ing trolling. There's no shot. These mystery dice might be haunted or something by the ghost of someone with very high cholesterol. Like this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm like frosting a cake at this point. I don't nah, want it. If he does it again, I swear to God. I guess we're gonna try again. Uh, no! Nah, stop! Uh, hello, stop! Police. This dude's f***ing trolling. Yeah, I. I have a butter emergency. I think I have a ghost. A, a butter ghost. I gotta try this again. I gotta roll something other than a twelve. Uh, what if this never stops? What if? What if stop. I just keep rolling twelves forever? I don't. I. I don't want to do this. I, I want to see my children grow up. I I don't want to be stuck in a time, time loop. <laughs> Little f***ing bastard. Dude. That was actually pretty good. That was actually a pretty good uh, April Fool's video. That was pretty good. Good afternoon, D&D. &D okay, yeah. See, now it updates to, to the number for episodes. Okay. Talk and beyond, and welcome to <clears throat> season four of Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these sort of salmon-colored dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Uh, Sir Lion thinks if I must. Three, 12 grains and seeds. 
What is that? Um, actually, oh. I only count 11 grains and seeds according to the package. Next up, let's roll for me. I'm that bread. 10. Skip through the cheese and roll twice. All right, let's roll 2d6 for cheese. Two American singles and six extra sharp Ooh. cheddar. Season four coming Ooh. out of the gate strong against the cheese curse here Ooh. with two different kinds. No, I know. The cheese, mild no. processed American alongside no. sharp cheddar. Dude. Will it when people think of American cheese outside of like small groups of people, they think that. That's not true American cheese. That's Kraft Singles. Kraft Singles is literally not allowed to be called cheese because it doesn't have enough like Will milk in it or some shit. Cheese or the perfect there amount. is actual we'll American cheese though, and it's pretty good. It's nice and Next creamy. Up, it's actually good. Depending on what brand you that get. Is nine capers. I think Land of Lakes is nuts. probably top tier. Man, there is something in the air today. This is quite a strange combination. Oh, Two different no. types of cheese and Not just the peas. capers. All right. Guess we're adding a little bit of saltiness. Not the peas, All right, dude. All right, next up, let's roll Wild Magic. 13, Rally's Fry Seasoning. This is a copycat spice blend comprised of sea salt, garlic, and herbs. It's tasty on fries, but works pretty good on sandwiches, too. Not that I think we need more salt on this one, but maybe the garlic and herbs will help a little bit. And last but not least, we have the D20 Sauce Roll. <clears throat> Four, Dr. Pepper Syrup. It's always the sauce roll where things... Dude, Dr. Pepper's already gross enough. Never mind putting in a syrup? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Go sideways. This is a dessert topping. Technically cherry Dr. Pepper flavored. It tastes pretty good on ice cream. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up. Nah, there's no way that thing tastes good on anything. Here. Get Dr. Pepper is so good, what do you mean? You've definitely never watched my soda tier list video, and I don't care. Toothpicks in. Maybe I've changed slightly since then, but I'm sticking to it. To hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. <clears throat> I didn't really actively choose to cut it on the plate today. I blame my ADHD. Let's take a look at that cross section. Wait, is there like a stigma for cutting things in a plate? Oh, it dulls your knife? It's very flat. Hey. Starting off season four with something. It's interesting to say the least. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. You know, I expected to be punched in the mouth by Dr. Pepper flavor, but it's actually not incredibly strong. Maybe I didn't put enough for the taste to really come through. The two types of cheese here is indeed too much cheese, at least unmelted, and the capers and the rally seasoning aren't doing a lot to save it. It's not the grossest sandwich I've ever made, but nothing about this sandwich makes me want to recreate it. I'm going to give it a straight four, and I'm going to call it the Flat Stanley. Also, a shout out to my boy Flats. Wait, that's me. Wait, have I seen this one? Oh, I might have saw this one myself. Oh, I liked it. Oh, I might have. Oh. Wait, have I seen this one already? Dude, I'm so... Dude, I feel like I'm literally like in the Twilight Zone right now. Watching Roll for Sandwich without us? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll admit it. I watch not that often. I try to avoid it when it happens on when it happens on my For You page. But sometimes I just have to. Sometimes I just... I'm zoned out and I'm like, oh shit, it's Roll for Sandwich. And then I watch it. And then I go, oh, shit, I'm not supposed to watch this right now because I'm going to watch them all later. But I think I got tagged in this one a bunch of times. That's why I looked at it. I'm not cheating on you, dude. What am I? I was curious. I was getting tagged. I got tagged a bunch on it. I was like, dude, I, I, I got to take a look and, and, and see. You know what I mean? Like, that's all. That's 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 all. Oh. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Armor Class 10. Armor Class 10 makes awesome t-shirt designs. Dude, I love that this guy's top. getting all the sponsorships, of though. Feels good, as man. Well as Magic the Gathering. I, I, want to, I need to grow my TikTok a little bit more so I can do sure, this. It's made by gamers for gamers. I have only ever gotten one sponsored TikTok, and I'll tell you, it paid like the craziest rate I've ever seen, and it flopped so fast hard like it is easily the least viewed thing i've ever uploaded mostly because they didn't listen to me and i was like we should probably do this instead and they're like no we're gonna stick with this and i was like okay well it's your, it's your, it's your money <laughs> and so 
<laughs> so it fell apart. But man, I hope I hope he's getting the big bag. Check the link in my bio to browse their catalog and use code Sandwich for ten percent off your order. All right, let's kick it off here with our roll for bread. Yeah, TikTok sponsorships Six, go burr. Sourdough. I really love this sourdough toasted. The problem is the slices are too long to fit in the toaster the right way, so it ends up looking like this. Well, let's bad. roll for our main. That's why I get to get a toaster oven. Eleven. Roll two d twelve. All right, rolling for two mains. Eight pickled bologna and nine pepperoni. Pickled bologna is a little bit of a Ooh. local delicacy here in Michigan. Though I have to admit, I've lived here my entire life, and pickled before bologna. today, I've never tried it. Luckily, I did read the package like and see that there was a casing that needed to be removed. And Ooh, once I did that, ew. I started laying it out on my sandwich. And in the process, it I stuck a little piece, and it's okay. I'm not gonna tasty. lie, I'm the in. Added I added acid wanna... and vinegar from the pickling process. Hang on, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Damn, not available. Oh man, the guy literally said local delicacy. Wait, really? Am I stupid? Luckily, I did read the package and see that there was a casing that needed to be removed. And once I did that, I started laying it out on my sandwich. And in the process, I snuck a little piece and it's pretty tasty. The added acid and vinegar from the pickling process it. cut through the fat of the bologna really nicely. And I'm excited to pair it with the spicy pepperoni. Next up, let's- Wait, spicy pepperoni? Hold up. <clears throat> Hold up. Spicy pepperoni? Hold up. Let's roll for cheese. Three, provolone. Pepperoni and provolone go together like peas and carrots. Also, now we've got a circular cheese provolone to go with our fire. two circular meats. All right, let's roll roughage. I haven't gotten provolone cheese in a while. It's time. <sighs> Add it to the list. We're in. Continuing. Four cucumber and five pickles. I always get a kick out of the times that we roll cucumber and pickle together. We're gonna add even more the circles to this sandwich. The spiciest Italian batteries. And the pickles Stop. And add a nice little crunch. Now, normally I'm a dill pickle guy, but I've got these sweet and spicy pickles that I think I'm gonna give a try today, which I think will add some further complexity on top of the already pickled bologna. All right, let's hit it with a little chaos with the wild magic roll. Eleven chicken salt. Chicken salt comes from Australia and is. Basically, chicken-flavored salt. They use it on french fries or chips, typically. All right, and last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Six, piccalilli. Piccalilli is a relish from the UK with a mustard-based sauce that contains vegetables like onion, cauliflower, zucchini, or courgette, and gherkin. It's one of my favorite things gherkin. I've discovered since starting this show. Let's Would go like ahead and get gherkin? our sandwich closed no, up here. I'm good. I don't get know what it is. Don't to care. Hold it together, and let's cut it in half. Real talk, chicken salt on macaroni will change your life forever. I've never All had right. chicken salt. I, now well, I want to try it. I think I looked for it one time and I couldn't one. find I it. I like pickles. I like cold cuts. I like sourdough. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it's f***ing dripping. Yeah, this one's a winner for sure. The cucumber was a nice touch to add a little bit more crunch without adding any more acid. Can't really say the chicken salt was necessary on this one. We had a lot of salt already. But all in all, I'm happy with this sandwich. Easily the best sandwich of the season so far. <laughs> and one I Hog. wouldn't hesitate to make again. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.7, and I'm going to call it the Toast Bologna because of all the circles. Thanks again to Armor Class 10 for sponsoring this episode. Damn. Have a great start to your week, and I'll... Okay. Okay. Not bad.